This is a lecture on transport of the critically ill patient. At the end of the talk, we will also talk about some special considerations when transporting the critically ill patient with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 infection. Transport is not to be taken lightly because if anything can go wrong, it will. If a patient is unstable with either hemodynamic instability, high vasopressor requirements, or high ventilator settings, consider if the transport is really necessary. Before transporting a patient, always consider the following. What is the indication for transfer? Does the procedure or scan change management significantly? Is the patient fit for the scan or procedure? Is there a chance that the patient will deteriorate during the transfer? Finally, has the patient been adequately stabilized or resuscitated prior to the transfer? Planning for transport. First, review the indication for the transport. Prepare your team. Who is transporting the patient? For an intubated patient, the RT will usually accompany the patient together with one doctor and one nurse. Plan your route. Identify areas for resuscitation if the patient deteriorates. For usual patients who are not COVID-19 confirmed cases or suspect cases, if the patient deteriorates, the protocol is to push the patient to the nearest clinical area and resuscitate there. Ensure that the receiving team, for instance, the CT scan room, is ready to take the patient to avoid unnecessary waiting. Call ahead of time. Before moving the patient, stop unnecessary infusions and NG feeds. Ensure that there are sufficient doses of essential medications in the syringe pumps. Consider if you need to bring along some drugs for resuscitation, for example, phenylephrine. Ensure that the transport monitor is connected, working, and monitored at all times. Ensure that the oxygen tank is of the right size and has sufficient gas reserve for the transport. Special considerations for COVID-19 confirmed or suspect cases. Always inform the COVID Transport Commander, who is the ID consultant, ahead of time. Speak to the relevant specialty, for example, radiology, if the patient is going for a scan, or anesthesia, if the patient is going to OT for an op, to inform that the patient has or is a COVID-19 suspect case. Consider paralyzing patients before the transport to minimize the risk of ETT dislodgement. Bring along resuscitation drugs and airway equipment in case of ETT dislodgement. Inform the SICU registrar to stand by for airway support in case of tube dislodgement. For COVID-19 suspect or confirmed cases, the transport team will consist of one doctor, one RT, and one nurse. You may consider bringing along an additional nurse or doctor depending on manpower availability. However, because of infection control measures, a maximum of four doctors, uh, a maximum of, sorry, a maximum number of four people is allowed to transport the patient. The PPE when transporting a suspect or confirmed case is PAPR with N95, surgical gown and gloves. There is an advanced team that will consist of the transport coordinator, the ID consultant, as well as a clean MO who will stand inside the CT control room to monitor the patient's parameters. Finally, there is also a support team consisting of the infection prevention nurse, security officers, environmental service personnel, facility management, as well as the SSU registrar. These are the drugs and airway equipment to bring along. For airway set A, this will be carried by the team transporting the patient. For airway set B, that is to be used by the airway team only, it will be carried by the transport coordinator in a separate lift. 
The following slides show the equipment in every sets A. This slide shows the equipment in every set B. The picture on the left denotes the microlaryngeal tube. The picture on the right shows the front of neck access equipment as well as the rapid oxygen tubing. We have come to the end of the lecture. Thank you for your attention.